Hi everyone, today's film is going to be about a natural confidence boosting makeup and what I mean by that is just a makeup to lift your spirits, make your skin look fresher, make you look healthy, but not be too fussy, keep it really really simple. So I've gathered together my favourite beauty pie products and I've created like a little capsule um, collection of the things that I know sort of will enhance my features and your features and different ways to do it. Um, I'm going to be using the One Palette Wonder in Cool. Now this is such a great compact. You've got the blusher, the highlighter, two different eyeshadows, um, three different eyeshadows actually, um, a bit of bronzer, pop of colour. It's a really lovely palette so I wanted to kind of guide you through how to use this and it's so super slim. Um, there are two, it's great for the makeup bag. Um, there are two of these, one is cool and one is warm. This is the cool one because as you can see right now, actually right now, my skin has a very cool, ready undertone to it and I know it's really difficult to understand when you look in the mirror, am I cool and am I warm? And I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video on understanding all this, but right now I'm using the cool because I'm very, very pale. If I had more melanin in my skin and my skin was warmer, with sort of more golden undertones, or I'd use a lot of fake tan maybe, then I would go for the warmer palette um, because it has more golds and bronze and those kind of colors that really kind of sync well together with those undertones. All right, I'm gonna go in straight away with the Sheer Tinted Oil Free SPF. This is such a beautiful product um, and it's in the shade Light. Now I'm gonna show you a few ways to apply this. Okay, just trying to get the best out of the products depending on what finish you might want. So that's quite, you know, that's quite a sizable amount of product, isn't it? So I'm gonna put that between both fingers and I'm going to start from the T-zone area, not too much over the front of my nose. If you need to do a little bit more of your nose, you can go back in a minute. But let's just really achieve a great coverage with this light base. Now, I don't want to use a fluffy foundation brush to apply this because the texture of this product is so hydrating and so lovely and fresh. I highly recommend this product. If I was to put it on with a big fluffy foundation brush, a lot of the product would get lost in the brush and I would end up having a very sheer version of what this product does. Now we all need, just gonna take the rest of this off my hand and rub it in together. We all need to have a certain amount of product on our face and the finish of this is natural. So if you then go in with a really natural brush, you're going to really not get the benefit of the product. It's going to be too fine on your skin. So you know I love figures and I know that a lot of people, when I've watched them do their makeup, don't like to connect their fingers with their face so much, especially my mum. She's like this, oh no, 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 don't pull my skin. Yes, pull your skin, invigorate your skin. She ended up sort of giving myself a little bit of a facial massage just to connect that really well in. Now, if you had other areas, there's a great beauty pie brush. This is the buffing brush. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in. Now the reason, on my hand, now the reason that this is different is because this brush, hold on, just turn it on. This brush is really firm. You see how firm and dense that is? So it picks up the product, but when you want to place it, that area's around my nose, it just deposits the makeup there beautifully. So if you've got a little bit of rosacea of your cheeks or, you know, like me, the pigmentation, you can get a nice, spread of the product, it's not pinpoint concealing, it's just really pushing the product, layering it over because this product layers beautifully. And if you find that you've got lots of down, lots of vellus hair on the sides of your face and makeup and powder especially gets caught in there, and especially if you're, the, the mornings are getting lighter now, which is wonderful. If you do tend up to put your makeup on in the morning and you can't really see, it's always quite good to go around with a buffing brush just around the edge to make sure that you kind of give that nice sort of sheeny finish to your makeup, but down my neck. Now, I'm not gonna use a concealer on here. As I said, it's a really simple, fresh makeup. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit on my finger um, and I'm just going to layer it. Um, it is so hydrating, it sits beautifully, but I will do a little bit of powder just to set, but Oh, it's so hydrating. Um, oops, squeezed a little bit too much. 
unlike me, to do to overdo it. <laughs> and it's just this area here. So you can see the lovely light. It's so pleasurable. And again, just push it in. So that's given me that extra bit of coverage I needed. But the overall effect of this lovely base is that it's light and fresh and SPF 20. But it's just that nice grown up kind of glow to the skin. So I'm not going to powder at all around that area. But I am going to powder, like I said, just around my eyes. Um, and I'm going to be using my One Powder Wonder. You probably guessed that, right? One Powder Wonder is a completely colourless powder. It's amazing. I think probably every makeup artist has one of these tucked away in her kit because it works on all skin colours. It's completely colourless, but it's fantastic at, I'm just going to use the brush. This one actually is the pro colour angled one, but I really like the angled one just for going to the sides of my face. So really make sure that you get a lovely swish, an even swish of product within the brush. And it's like I did before, don't do the windscreen wipe action, just press, just really delicately press and it knocks back shine. So if you're looking after an actress for a model all day, especially under really, really hot lights, if you're using a powder that's got lots of pigment in, after about three or four hours, it just starts to build and congeal on the skin. Whereas this product just sets the makeup and creates a nice smooth base for anything else that you might want to put on. Brilliant, it's a real classic this one. I'm sure you're all aware of it. Um, if you don't know about Beauty Pie, by the way, and you haven't been following me for a long time, I've got two films on Beauty Pie. One is completely dedicated to how it works. It's a fantastic gift for someone. Um, great skincare, great makeup. Um, and I've got a code later on as well that gives you 50 pounds uh, to spend if you join. So that's great, right? Um, and the video will tell you exactly how it works and you get great luxury products at a very, very affordable price. I highly recommend going to look at the site if you're not familiar with it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna to go to my brows now because I just feel like I need a bit of shape. This is the Precision Brow. And I like about this that it's got a really, really fine, delicate tip. And it's a very ashy color and the spoolie on the other side. And I just think you need that really when you haven't got a spoolie for your brows. It's just so annoying. So push these guys in. I don't have the best brows, so it does really, to help to teach you how to spread your brows by watching how mine grow. So up, up, up. And I need to kind of pull my brows in. So I bring the brows in and in, and then use a very delicate propelling pencil. And I just love the propelling pencil because it's so delicate. And that color sits really, really well on my hairs. Um, it really shows up if it's too red. And this is nice and cool. I need to really extend that brow out so that it kind of comes out to there and then strengthen up the belly of my brow there and then feather it up. But just having a really sharp point, whether you just sharpen your pencil the whole time or you use a propelling one, it just kind of helps you apply more of a delicate brow. They've also got a really nice sort of creamy powdery one as well, a brow product which you can apply with a brush. And I must tell you, I'm doing the brush film in a couple of weeks, guys. Um, and if you do have a, um, an eyeliner brush or a brow brush that isn't really like this Beauty Pie one here, sharp and together, if it's slightly fluffy at the end here, don't bother using it put it in the bin and reinvest because it just really doesn't help you with your makeup application. And a lot of the synthetic brushes are really, really good at keeping their shape. Okay, so I'm just bringing that out. Just a really, really nice, soft shape. And then always, I just tend to use the spoolie just to break up the solidness of the coal if it is too solid and bring that round. Ah, oh, much better. I feel I've got my sort of coat hangers holding up my face. I'm gonna go in with some blush now. Now there is the blush in here, but I wanted to show you these two blushes. Well, they're, they're Hannah Martin, um, brilliant makeup artist, actually created these cream blushes. 
um, for Beauty Pie. Uh, they're called Super Cheek and I'm going to be using Fresh Faced. You know I love that. This is like a classic pink, great for my jumper. That's just really, really nice, isn't it? But I'm going to go in with this Fresh Face one because I just love the sort of peachiness to it. And we're kind of nearly getting towards spring. Um, so straight in with my finger. Oh, that's so nice. Because it's not too matchy matchy with my uh, jumper. I do love a bit of a, a flush. It softens. I've got quite defined cheekbones. I had so many teeth taken out when I was younger, which um, obviously is a blessing now, but sometimes I need to sort of soften the front of my face to sort of soften the angles. So I do love a flushy blush, but especially now, I might actually do a little bit of layering and I could actually use a little bit of the um, powder blush from the palette over the top, which would look really nice actually. And that's a great way of trying to or sort of making your makeup last a little bit longer by layering creams and powders. We'll see how that goes in a minute. I just love the freshness of my skin. I just love how that looks. Great, okay, so nice flush blush, brilliant. So many of you know that I love the Beauty Pie Cream Eyeshadow Sticks and this is Teddy Bear. And I just wanted to use this in conjunction with this palette just to kind of give you a little bit of versatility um, because Teddy Bear is such a great eye shaping tool. Um, I'm just going to show you how easy it is just to kind of really shape my eye. This is my sleepy eye. This is the eye that always collapses a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit underneath here and I'm going to do a little bit here and just blend that in with my finger. It's a really, really great tone. Again, like the um, uh, eyebrow tool, it's nice, cool toned. So it's great for kind of really sort of carving in those natural shapes to your face. And this is so nice to kind of inject a soft, natural looking socket. Instantly, my eyes open underneath and it's sort of undetectable really. And you can kind of go stronger and stronger, but you can blend it in really delicately. Da -da -da! It's really, it really does make such a difference. I'm just going to do that under there, just under my cheekbone, which doesn't really make sense. It's just saying, oh yes, my face is too angular. I wouldn't really want to enhance this, but I'm just doing this as a purpose to show you if you're feeling a little bit swollen in your face or you've got a rounder face than me, just applying teddy bear in your sockets um, maybe underneath your jawline just to enhance this shape here or underneath your cheekbone just literally at the side it makes a huge difference so I'm just doing it for the purposes of of teaching you all it's such a great natural shade and I think sort of any sort of contouring with powder never quite looks the same and it's it's a really really good staple to have in your kit so I know I said I was just going to use this one <laughs> But, um, you know, I've always got so much to share with you and so many things to say. Right, I'm going to use that. You can see that what's great about this is that it actually gives you shadow. So it says shadow, bronzer, blush. But the ones that I've used a lot, like the highlighter and the cooler tone here, it, it's come off. But it's great because it sort of is educational. Um, so I'm just going to use the flat eyeshadow base brush. Um, just in the grey one here and I'm going to push it in here on my lid. Do notice that I do um, press the eyeshadow in. I don't tend to sweep and the reason I don't tend to sweep is because I don't want to push the shadow um, anywhere onto my face where I don't want it or to sprinkle fine particles. That's great. I just love that subtle shadow underneath. Really smoky. So I'm now going to use the tip of the same brush and I'm just going to wash this around. So it really, really pulls out my eye. It looks so much bigger. And I love these grey tones. And just to enhance, again, I'm going to use the same brush because I really want the colours to to mix in, I'm just going to go in with the darker brown, but just on the tip 
and just in my socket here. So it's kind of using the flat of the brush to apply the colour to the lid and just to kind of darken and sort of emphasise that socket even more to really bring out that shape. I can use the tip. And then finally, with a nice clean fluffy brush, this one's called, surprisingly enough, Eyeshadow Blender. I need to just really soften all of this so that it really blends in to the rest of my base. Lovely, and the same on the other side. Pat, 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 and then use the tip, take the colour underneath. And make sure that's softened there as well. So the great thing about the eyeshadows, the cream eyeshadows, is that they set very well. So you need to make sure before they set that you've got a nice soft feathered edge and that wasn't feathered there. That's what happens when you're applying makeup and teaching and talking at the same time. But that's much more diffused. So again, take the tip of the brush, going in with a darker shadow. Oh, I really love this palette. And just enhancing that socket there. And then taking the blender brush. And I like using the same brush um, when I'm mixing those two colours because at the end of the day I want the colours to really sort of morph together. So that just means it has a little bit of grey on a little bit of brown. And I just really love that sort of like really subtle smoke. That's great. Just need to balance that out. Lovely. Okay, so next in with Flash False Mascara. Followers of mine who follow me for a long time will know how much I love this mascara because the pigment is super, super dark um, and it's got a really small brush with, I'm going to show you, lots and lots of open channels. Let me just get that in focus. Um, so you can see that there's lots of mascara going to go into my lash. Oh, sorry. Here starts the chaos. <laughs> Um, you can see once I put it on, I love mascaras that give that sort of instant tight line, instant liner. Um, because when you're doing a sort of natural makeup, like this natural sort of facial enhancing makeup like this, I do love these matte tones, they're really, they're just timeless aren't they? So you can see, just in a couple of coats, I mean it's just a great mascara. Short lashes. If you've got very thick lashes and you don't like a full-on mascara, then this is not going to be for you. But, I mean, mascara is just such a wonderful product, isn't it? It really, really does shape the eye. I do love these soft mattes. Isn't that pretty? I use lots of metallics and sparkles, you know, depending on how I'm feeling. But I think maybe against this bright top, this lovely soft grey is beautiful. When you apply the mascara, you almost want to feel the product on the root of your lash and then pull it up. Pretty effective, pretty effective. No, no, make sure I'm not doing that, and then you can't see a thing, can you? <laughs> oh, please forgive me for all my little mistakes. It's, um, there's a lot going on behind these cameras. Well, actually, there's nothing going on behind these cameras. It's just trying to balance it all out. Make sure I'm giving you um, helpful tips and get the makeup on effectively. Really happy with those lashes. You know me, I love a lot of mascara. Great, feeling really happy and confident with that. Such a cool palette. So let me just use a little bit of the blush with the soft contour brush and just, that's quite punchy, isn't it? Oh no, no, that's fine. Use the same on the other side. You know why that's gripped so well? It's because my skin is damp. So I didn't powder my cheeks, but that's fine. The formula is sheer enough. Right, let's just see, oh, that, that does blend out nice. Ooh, there we go. That was gonna be a bit of a shocker, but actually because the formula is so sheer, it's just blended out quite beautifully. But it's nice, actually, the, 
I needed that little bit of extra colour in my cheeks and my eyes are, are framed like this. Okay, and just to finish off, I'm going to be using my favourite lipstick. Anyone know what it is? Little quiz. Master Sweet. Master Sweet is one of those lipsticks. It does actually look very pink here. Um, but when I put it on my lips, I'm not going to use any liner because I've got this nice sort of like soft haze of colour on my eyes here. Um, oh God, I really love the smell of these Beauty Pie lipsticks. I'm going to find out what's in it. It's really nice. It's very distinctive. Um, it just creates a really beautiful, um, natural looking lip, but doesn't look like lipstick. We'll see what you think. bottom, top, lovely. Right, so there we are. That's my confidence boosting makeup, courtesy of Beauty Pie. Um, and if you look at the description box below, um, there will be a code if you want to get 50 pounds when you sign up to spend on products that you want. Totally up to you. I just think it's really nice to share really fantastic products at an affordable price. Um, creating a really lovely, pretty, fresh look. Um, I hope you agree, I hope you like the look, and as always, I look forward to reading your comments below. Many thanks and bye for now.